Hey guys, it's Bianca from Plan, Live, and Travel. How are you today? Today I'm gonna do something a little different. It's gonna be a quick video because, or at least this intro part, probably. I don't know how, to be honest, I'm gonna do this. But what I wanna do is show you guys how I was just recently taught how to cut inserts. Now, this is probably not gonna be the best comparison because this one, didn't print right. For some reason I ran out of ink and my printer didn't stop it from running out of ink. It was really weird. Like it kind of like continued. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of them that still have the front and back. And I'm gonna show you the trick that I saw on YouTube. Now it's from the girl that actually, actually who actually makes inserts. And to be honest, I forgot her name because I'm a horrible YouTuber that can't remember. This is why I planned, you guys. This is why I planned. So it's a J. Just Sunny. I think it's just Sunny. Just Senna. Just Senna printables. Anywho, so I bought some of her inserts. I also bought Annie's printables, but. Just sunny. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm saying it wrong, I do apologize. I am like the worst that come that you know. I'm the worst with pronouncing names. But anyways, I was on her. I was like googling. Like, how the heck am I supposed to print? Or not just print. How am I supposed to cut these inserts? Because it is just unreal. I printed everything that I wanted to put in my new. Um, area something cloud. You guys, I'm just awful today. I'm like all over the place. <laughs> and when I was finished cutting everything, there were there. It was a horrible stack, you guys. I had to recycle it. There was papers like from the same inserts that were in different sizes, and I was just like, what the heck? So not only is that a wasteful of ink, it's a waste of paper. And it was just awful. So I had to go online and be like, okay, how do you how do you cut this? Because as you see here is one of my inserts, right? And then you can see in the corners it has these designs on it, which means this is where you're supposed to cut to make it fit. Now this is for the cloud, which is an A5 wide. So what I'm gonna show you is the trick that she showed and shared on her Instagram, or her YouTube, sorry. So here's my paper cutter, right? You're not all the way in frame, so I'll just do this sideways. And this is already like, this might be a piece of paper that I'm not gonna keep anyway, so I'm gonna try to do this as perfectly, but since it's sideways, it's gonna be kind of hard. So what you do is, you don't cut you're not gonna cut, you're not gonna push this down and cut all the way across. The tip is you bring this over and then you line it up to the line, I think. I forgot where she said. You're gonna cut down, let it pop open and scoot it. So that way it's still there. So that's what you have. So then you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna line it up See, you still have the lines on here. So you're gonna line it up and you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna push down, go all the way over, not all the way over, sorry, up to the line, push up. See? Then you're gonna do the same thing once more. The third time is different. So again, line it up, push down, Go over, push up, come out. And at this point, hers didn't come all the way out, so I might have like overcut a little bit, but you can still see the little markers on here. And then what you do is you line it up again, and this time you're gonna go all the way. And then that way you can just take out your insert, and then there's your extra pieces. So that is how you are going to cut it to where you can still see the little markers. Oh my gosh, hopefully this works. I'm gonna do a couple more 
and then we're gonna see. So here, if you printed out your insert correctly, obviously this is not pretty. We're gonna start running out of ink at that point. You can see that the markers on the back lined up. So that's another thing. If your printer, when you take your paper out, I had to really like put it back together. I had to do this and this a couple of times to line it up because that's what you want. You want the front and the back to line up basically as perfect as you can. If they're off by a little bit, that's fine. But when they're off by like a couple millimeters, if they're off more than that, you're not gonna get, it's not gonna look the same from front to back, if that makes sense. So let's do that again a couple more times. These are from the same printer from the, you know, like the same time that I print them all together. So we're gonna see if we're gonna do like maybe three more like this and then we're gonna put them together, all together and see if it was like lined up perfectly. So again, and this is cool because, let me see if I can lift this up so you guys can see it. You see this line right here? Why am I doing that? I had the technology to zoom in my camera, but instead I'm gonna lift up this whole ridiculous thing and try to show it to you. So let me zoom you guys in. Come closer. I brush my teeth, but I've been drinking coffee, so I have coffee breath. Okay, so you're gonna line it up, right? What's cool is, which you guys probably can't see until you like tilt to the side, you can see on the plastic thing underneath the little nib where the blade comes out, so you can line it up, make sure it's there. So I'm gonna go on right on top of it, push down, I'm gonna slide. <laughs> I still wanna show you guys, but kind of up front. And once I get to that line, it's gonna pop up, and I'm gonna scoot it, and that's where I stop cutting. So then I'm gonna take my paper. I'm doing this upside down, you guys, so bear with me. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna do the same thing, which you can't see. I'm over here. So I'm gonna move my blade up. Now push down. I'm gonna slide. And I'm gonna lift up. And you can kind of see where it's starting to kind of separate as far as the insert from the thing, but that's okay. So I'm gonna scoot you guys, I'm gonna scoot you guys out a little bit. I think you guys got the gist of what I'm doing, but this way you're still zoomed in and still in frame. All right, so I'm gonna line up the lines to where I'm cutting, bring my cutter over, push down to cut, go over, lift up, and then do it one more time, but this time we get to go all the way through. So your first three are going to be not cutting all the way through, where you lift up and push down. Now, I'm gonna zoom you guys out. This is like the longer end. Now, after lining it up, I can go all the way across like normal, and then you can pull out your insert. And there it is. I'm so excited, you guys. So with just the two, look at that. They match up perfectly. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited, you guys. All right, let's just do, should we do one more? I'm gonna do one more real quick. And then what we'll do is I'll hole punch it. Now, I'm gonna talk about my hole puncher issues while I cut this. So, if you have like a personal, like a smaller size, because it obviously, it depends on what size planer you have. Now, for the A5 wide, that one, is almost like the size of like an Aaron Connor. The inserts for the Aaron Connor literally fits in the A5, my cloud. 
and I'll bring it I'll bring it out too so you guys can see it and what I'm talking about so I had a smaller ring planner from Pele Studios which I don't really use which I'm debating on whether or not if I'm gonna try to bring it back out and use it or pass it along I have all the pretty stuff for it too it's like insane but I don't know yet anywho this dude I had this dude right here and it's meant where you can adjust it now in here it does say a5 but it's a5 personal so even though you push it all the way back this space is not the same space as in between the a5 wide which i'll show you let me get out my planner she was in her bag so as you can see, this space is not the same. Like this is, this is smaller. So this is not gonna work. Now, I tried to make a mark on here, flip my paper back and forth. It still didn't work. I still couldn't get it to line up perfectly and to do that for each time would have been ridiculous. So, oh, and I, these are the inserts that I got, not this paper, that's from the style planner. It's the style planner. Uh, these inserts and everything are from Aria. Where's her name at? Aria Estelle. Aria Estelle. Uh, my inserts came in, which is super exciting. So here's the vertical notes. I got the packet form. So that would be a whole separate video. When I start decorating it and putting everything together, that's going to be like a whole separate video. I just wanted to show you guys the separation in the rings. So, at Michael's, for the rec recollections, recollections, whatever, the other thing, planner stuff, that's at Michael's. I can't even talk and open this at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anywho, this is a six punch, six hole punch, and it's space for where you can space it. It's either already spaced or you can space it for the A5 wide. To get my scissors out, cheese Louise. So this is what it looks like. The gold one, if you see this and it's gold, that is this size, that is a personal size. If you want it for the bigger planer, like the cloud, you need the teal. Cause I saw the gold one, cause one of the stores was out and I was like, oh, I'll just get the gold. Who cares about the color? No, no. So you can't, I thought you could adjust this. I guess not. Like there's no way to move those. So hopefully everybody said this is it. But yeah, that's what's gonna show you the bigger planner with the inserts. And it just says six hole punch. That's it. That's all the information you get. So we're gonna trust it out. So we have the inserts. I'm gonna zoom probably out. We're in. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So I have my inserts. What I'm gonna make sure though, I don't know how I put these down. Okay. So as you can see, I don't know if it's easy to see that or not. This is so weird. So there's supposed to be Monday, what day is this? Monday. Okay, so one side is going to be a little bit thicker for the hole punching than the other. I can kind of see that just by looking at it. I don't really have a ruler, but I have this, but I don't think that's really a ruler. Anywho, I'm just gonna pick it. We're gonna, we're gonna test this out. So I'm gonna put them together. We're gonna slide in. I don't know where to like, there's no like ends. You see how I can slide? So I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> where is it supposed to go so I think I'm just gonna line it up on the bottom let's we'll see how that works you know what 
Let's do, let's do one and line it up on the bottom and see where that looks like. All right, so let's take the, the planner and see. Oh, that works. You guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's exciting. All right, so let me see. Let me put that over there for a second. Just for giggles. I think that would be easier than versus lining up the top part with the teal, if that makes any sense. So instead of it bringing it up here and having a little bit of room, I think I'm gonna line it up on the bottom. But I'm just curious to see what it looks like if you line it up from the top. Yeah, so it's up a little bit higher. So I think it's best to aim it down below because then your dividers will pop up, will show here versus if you have it up higher, then you're showing more down below. So, yay. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so exciting. So I hope this helped you in any shape, way, or form. Again, I will show the original creator who showed me this trick. I will link her channel down below in the description box. I just wanted to come out here because I know some of my followers, especially on Instagram when I had a rant of like, why isn't my inserts working? There you have it, you guys. There you go. I'm glad I was able to learn it and share it. And yes, so. I hope this guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. So if it did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.